Hi boys and girls. I'm going to play with some water and some watercolor paints and some salt to make some fun watery artwork. So I've got my brushes and I'm just going to start with only water on my paper. I'm going to put a lot of water. I can make some big water puddles. Maybe I can pretend that's a pond and some splashes like raindrops. I can use my small brush and make some narrow water lines with lots of water that look maybe like a river or a creek. And then I can start adding some paint to it. Now, when I add my paint, I get a lot of paint and all I have to do is just drop it in. Watch how the water reacts with the paint and pulls the paint and it spreads all on its own without my moving it. I'll do it again. See how the, the paint swirls and fills up the area that the water was in. Let me add some more paint and we can watch the different ways that the water and paint move around on the paper. Let's see, I can use red and blue and yellow because those are our primary colors and they can mix together to make all the other colors. All I have to do is put little drops of water and let the colors spread around within the water on their own. Let's see. Oh boy, oh that yellow is very light. Let me add more on my brush. So it will be darker on my paper. Whoa, look at that big bubble of paint mixing together in the water. Now, when I'm all done with playing with letting my paint colors mix with each other, then I'm ready to try using my salt. I've got two different kinds of salt at home, so I can use two different kinds. But if you only have one kind of salt, one kind works too. I have table salt, which is teeny tiny crystals and I also have this salt which is really big crystals. Watch what happens when I put the salt on the paint. You'll see the paint change and the water change. It reacts to the salt. It draws in the color and pushes away the water. So the small crystals do some things and the big crystals do other things with it. And it's fun to watch how they change the water. And later after you're finished adding all of your salt and, and your paint, and trying out different things and you let it dry, then you're gonna see it continue to change as it dries. This one I did a few minutes ago and you can see these areas as they're drying are really making some interesting patterns uh, where there's less water and paint and where there's more water and paint. And you'll see that these darker areas are gonna change as they begin to dry too. So there's lots of ways that the water and the salt and the paint change. So fun to play with. Have a lot of fun and don't forget to take pictures and put it in the Google Classroom so we can see it.